na William Ruto held series of rallies today in the larger Turkana County. Turkana County consists of almost 200,000 registered voters. And during the, those campaigns, William Samuel Ruto took the opportunity to tell off Raila Amolo Odinga's threats of boycotting these coming 2022 general elections. Please listen to doc, what Dr. William Samuel Ruto had to say about Raila Amolo Odinga during that event. Ati bila manual register ati akuta kuwa na uchaguzi. Unaona hiyo kiburi yako naye? Kwani yeye ni nani? Sisi kutakuwa na uchaguzi tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane. Kitenda wili apende asipende. Ama namna gani? Si namna hiyo? Na waje kutuletea vitisho. Na waje kutuletea masharti. Kenya si yake peke yake. Kenya ni ya Kenya wote. Ama mnasemaje? Si namna hiyo? Na mimi nataka niwaambie nyinyi wa Kenya wote, musitishwe na hii muti ya kitenda wili. Huyu nitapambana na yeye. Na nitamkomesha. Hakuna mahali atapita na hiyo ukora yake na hii mambo ya vitisho vitisho. Kama ameogopa uchaguzi, aondoke watafute candidate mwingine. Ama ama mnasemaje? Eh, hey, watafute candidate mwingine walete. Lakini mimi nawahakikishia huyu hiyo vitisho anasema oh sijui ati kama hakuna manual register ati awe, ati hakuta kuwa na uchaguzi mimi namwambia kuwe na manual register kusiwe na manual register tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tunapiga kura kama wa Kenya na tutachaguana na wa Kenya wataamua nani rais wao na nani viongozi wao wale wengine si namna hiyo tunaelewana na hakuna fujo atalete na nimemwambia safari hii hawezi kungoa reli na hawezi kujiapisha na hawezi kupigana mawe akijaribu kutuletea kisirani tutamweka kwa wilbaro mba, express mpaka bondo <laughs> ama mnasemaje si huyu mtu tutamweka kwa wilbaro akituletea nyoko nyoko ama mnasemaje watu wa kaikor koriai <laughs> let me remind you on wednesday 6th july 2022 During Raila Amolo Odinga's campaign in Kidunguri, Kiambu County, he threatened to boycott this coming 2022 general elections. And this is what he had to say. Manual register is a must at each and every polling station. This is not negotiable. This is a, you're telling the IBC they must have a manual register along with uh, uh, biometric identification of the voters on that polling day. Kana hivyo hakuna uchaguzi. Ati wamechagua wame polling stations kama alufu kumi. Pale ambapo wataweza kuingiza hiyo kura 200200200 ili ingie pale ndio wapate kura million mbili ya, ya ili ya ziada ya uongo. And that begs a very serious question which we are going to discuss in this video. As Raila Amolo Odinga sense defeat in this coming 2022 general elections because according to his recent behaviors you can easily tell that Raila Amolo Odinga together with his allies are in total panic mode at this point ladies and gentlemen you can tell that Raila Amolo Odinga has a lot of advantages in this coming 2022 general elections if you compare him to his closest rival Dr. William Samoy Ruto. But why is he complaining a lot? Raila Amolo Odinga as we speak, he has the support of the system. Raila Amolo Odinga has the support of the deep state. Raila Amolo Odinga has also the support of the president of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. He also has the support of his supporters, his fanatical supporters. Raila Amolo Odinga has the experience because it is not the first time Raila Amolo Odinga to contest for the presidency. In fact, this is his fifth time. But why is he complaining a lot? Why is he in panic mode? As he sensed defeat in this coming 2022 general elections. Before we go into deeper details of this video, Please if you're watching this video for the first time please take a step and subscribe to my YouTube channel 
and to my subscribers and to my supporters my loyal viewers also thank you so much this youtube channel is where it is right now because of your support and i'm not taking that for granted thank you so much for your support let me tell you some of the signs that actually shows that Raila Molodinga has sense defeat in this coming 2022 general elections. Point number one is Raila Molodinga's complaints to the IEBC. The IEBC is an independent body. It acts as a referee in this coming 2022 general elections. But Raila Molodinga has been complaining a lot. In fact, he has issued 10 demands that he wants IEBC to look at before he goes to the 2022 general elections. First of all is the issue of the manual and the electronic voter register. And according to Raila Molodinga, he is insisting that both the manual and the electronic uh, voter registers must be accessible due to alleged attempts of sabotaging this coming 2022 general elections. Raila Molodinga also has the issue with the IEBC returning officer and he is demanding an audit. So, his complaints to the IEBC actually shows that Raila Molodinga is in panic mode and he has sensed defeat in this coming 2022 general elections. Point number two, ladies and gentlemen, his closest ally by the name Junet Mohammed, you heard him complaining just the other week. Who was he complaining to? None other than Moses Masika Wetangula of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. And according to Junet Mohammed, he is accusing Moses Masika Wetangula of distributing marked ballot papers in this coming 2022 general elections. Who is Moses Masika Wetangula? In fact, Moses Masika Wetangula is only contesting for a senator seat in Western region. So he has got nothing to do with the IEBC. So that is another sign that Raila Molodinga has sensed defeat in this coming 2022 general elections. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below and see you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys.